All right, that took a moment. <clears throat> okay, I had to reset chat there. It took me a second. Welcome, everybody, to the worst <sighs> Magic Arena stream. All right, we made it. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be perfectly real with you. I forgot that the um, rotation happens <laughs> on the last day of the month, and not, I, I, I forget that every month. So uh, I did this because of Mythic, and uh, here we are with the ranks reset in Platinum 4. So um, <clears throat> once I saw that, I made a couple of changes to my list. Um, I, most of us know this. Most of us probably hate this. I wanted to try it with four War Leaders Call. I wanted to try it with four Anim Pakal because uh, I like this one a lot. I think this is a fucking great card, too. Um, I wanted to try my one and only one copy of Devilish Velay in uh, this deck. Johnny, welcome to the Worst Magic Green Stream, man. Thank you. Um, all right, so uh, I, I think that uh, Anim Pakal and the Devilish Velay will give us some um, interesting uh, win conditions, right, and uh, interesting playing. Obviously, in the thumbnail, Regal Bunny Corn here. I, <laughs> I, I, I thought it might be cute to play a bunny, um, a bunny card. This was the one I could think of that could perform once again in Mythic. Uh, yeah, that I thought the ranks wouldn't reset now. Uh, but yeah, here it is. Um, I was gonna run two in Mythic, uh, not in it. I decided to bump it up to a three because it's a, a cute little card here. Maybe we can get some uh, fat damage with it. Uh, most of the other stuff, I most of you probably already uh, hate it, you know. But uh, here it is, this one, right? Because it uh, card advantage, it's an artifact for the uh, Gleeful Demolition to hit. Uh, this one's just extremely good, right? I guess it moves cards off of the top of the library, kind of, sort of, card advantage, not really. Uh, dud Prevention. Gleeful Demolition, obviously it spams creatures onto the uh, field. It can destroy artifacts, I guess, like the Celestis, uh, Portal to Fire. Actually, I don't know, whatever. Uh, another artifact, more damage, right? Uh, blah blah blah. Another one drop. Uh, we're running two of these today. I'm, I, I, I maybe should be running three, but um, I, I wanted to try the devilish valet. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, two of these. But arguably, I could take out a war leader's call pretty easily and uh, put in a third one of these. Uh, and resolute reinforcements, just because it's good. You know, it's a flash. Uh, you know, possibly gotcha play. Four of these for card advantage. Uh, here's this if you're interested. Uh, Twenty-two lands. I, I, I had twenty-three for a while, and then I um. Made a cut. Got a couple more two drops in there. I think that was one of them was the case put in. Oh, well, I got uh, <clears throat> some packs from the rank reset. That's right. Why don't we uh why don't we go ahead and open these right fast? <clears throat> Get your packs. Rank reset. Now let's see what we got. Blue white, everybody's favorite. Yes. Uh Orzov, probably everybody's second. I don't know. They're they're so close. I love I just love them both so much, you know. Oh, wow, yes. Mm, yeah. Oh, this is good. All right, relive, return up to one. Hang on. And up to one target, non-aura. Okay, enchantment, okay. And, okay, sweet. <clears throat> and, yes. Oh. Okay. Sure. I, I definitely like Doppelgang. Okay, let us begin. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Thank you, anybody, for joining me, because uh, this probably isn't anybody's favorite. <laughs> Certainly the audience I've cultivated seems like you guys like green, so thank you guys for uh, showing up when I do something else. You guys notice the sleeves there? You like that? I, other decks I've ran the Ulamog Flavorless sleeves for are the uh, the one time that we played Mono Black Control the day before Invoke Despair was banned. I, I had to try it, and um, I needed to confirm that, yes, it was, in fact, intentional easy mode engaged. <clears throat> Evil Simic build, says Johnny. Oh, Doppelgang? All right, he must be talking about Doppelgang. I went with four Battlefield Forges today, because I have them, and I probably want, you know, as few lands as possible to enter. Um, tapped, right? I think I have like one of the man land. I, I thought about going to two. Small optimizations that I'm not at yet, but you know, could make a difference. I wonder if two is optimal. One does seem a little low, like it's pretty darn low odds of getting it. I do have four Anim Pakals, right? And like the red white dual land, right? Doesn't it? Um. Oh, you know what? No, uh, no, you know what? Let's do this. Okay, so they're going to kill it now to prevent us from... Uh, yeah. Alright, so I would assume if we attacked, maybe the same fate would have happened to it. 
Alright, we don't get to uh, put the counter on it, use the scry. First time using this deck. Alright, uh, no blocks. War leader call pass. Alright. Eh, you know what? Fuck it. Attack. I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to block Godric because I would anticipate a damage spell. Right, so that I would double block thinking I'm going to get in and they just uh, play with fire or something. I'm tapped out. They know they're going to get pull that trick off, you know. And even have to think about a freak surge of salvation. All right. All right, we'll, we'll leave one of these uh, open to block, I think. I think I think we want Ann and Pakal heading in right about now. All right, we should definitely do that. Alright, so Anim Pakal at four toughness now. Survives lightning strike, by the way. Good taste to this uh to this fellow. Um I don't know if I want to block with Anim Pakal. Um Monstrous Rage is really fucking horrible for us though, so maybe I uh maybe I will do that. And Monstrous Rage would be pretty uh, terrifying. Burn spell. I mean, at least we kill the adversary, honestly. Um, hang on, is that lethal? Wait, 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 wait. That's lethal. Oh, dude. Yo, can I get a like on the stream for that? Oh, shit. Wait, oh, god. Yo, oh, ex oh, that was, that was actually kind of smooth. Like, not even gonna lie. <laughs> Fell upwards into that one happening. Nice top deck, but <laughs> that was actually pretty smooth. <laughs> wow, okay. Doppelgang and Leyline of Guildpack. Um, Leyline of Guildpack, okay. And the rest is your classic... Mono green, says Johnny. Evening, Tana. Welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream. Why the why the guild pack, though? Although, I could probably see, like, making copies of the guild pack if it was, like, in a uh, eternal format. Because, you know, then you could make a copy of your Nykthos. I, I think that might be really, 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 really interesting. <clears throat> Um, I, I don't know about this one. I think this is just, like, a pretty wa wacky hand. Sure. Do we get rid of a land? We have 22 lands. It's, it's not the best odds of getting one. Do we get rid of... <sighs> I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Do I get rid of this thing and then just be really fucking greedy? I'm going to be really greedy. I'm just I'm just so curious. The, the reason I'm doing that is because I know that I have a lot of little drops, and I'm hoping that maybe that's the, the thing that I have the best odds of drawing. It I, I, I might get totally fucked over here, but uh, I, drew, I drew a land. Aww. Aww. All right. Well, I wish I dropped the land. Like soaking on. That might be our play. Although, <sighs> I mean, I put I put four of them in the deck, so you know, I could be I could be a silly head, you know. Try to be a silly head. The 
The thing is, it just takes a long time. When I play unranked, this is like the only deck I see. Every one of them draws like, not one, but two ill-timed explosions. The four mana like, is it wipe? Within the first like, 10 cards, I swear, they, they all hit it on turn four. And also, weirdly, in uh, Unranked, every Insidious Roots pops right the fuck off, and then I switch to Ranked, and, like, they do all right sometimes. <laughs> and in Unranked, er er fucking, they pop right the fuck off. I'm terrified of them in Unranked. When when it's in Ranked, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, we'll have a, we'll have a reasonable matchup. You know, it'll be okay. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, how are we doing this? Um... I think we'll just uh, I think we'll just send these in honestly. All right. The ley line. So the basic forest. Okay, are all the basic land types and triple sure with virtue and easily pay the three x. Okay. 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 Dude, I, I don't know if it's really going to behoove me in any way to, like, take a while. Because the thing is, like, you know, I get it. Like, enjoy your deck. I like Virtue, too. But, like, uh, it's a new deck, and so a lot of them are, like, learning it, and it's slow. Like, it takes a while, and they're learning it. And, like, even if they were good at it, like, I understand that it would take a while. But, like, I would appreciate seeing somebody doing that skillfully. I actually have... Some guy ran a Naya and a Pakal deck. It had, like, Yoshi and Dissident. And, like, whenever a artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. So many triggered abilities went on the stack. He was going so fast. The dude was like a computer. And you could see that he's been, like, playing this deck, like, pretty frequently. And, like, God bless him. I loved watching him, you know. I sat there and let him do it. It was an absolute blowout game. Total waste of my time. Except he played it, like, so nicely, you know. And it's just, like... <clears throat> It's it's unrealistic, but I wish that every one of these people played like that because there's a fucking lot of them. Yeah, you know what? I'm uh, now that uh, now that I uh, you know focus back on the game, I realize that I, I don't want to sit here and bother. He has virtue down and a bunch of lands untapped. We're we're gonna be here all day. Oh, does Slogurk take even longer, Tana? Then I guess we have something to be grateful for. There's there's always a slower deck. Okay, good to know. I, I feel a little better about that. Thank you, Dana. <laughs> is that is that the one that we saw a lot of after like it, it got some type of showing at some type of event? Remember, it was like a 68 card slogan list. Is that the one you're talking about? <clears throat> I think I conceded on those when they did nicely against me. I don't really remember. I remember them winning against me. I don't remember actually watching them pop off. <clears throat> you, you boy, big fat MTG is just <clears throat> typically out of there. Now, I also got viewers to think about. You know, I mean, if the opponent's putting on a show, we'll, we'll watch. I like the art on this one. I didn't really. I've never really looked at it too closely, but like uh, along the right side, the bottom side, there's like the green. Bits of color. I don't, never really looked at this too long. I play a lot of green. <clears throat> All right. Uh, this hand isn't going to go too wide, so the the bunny corns are a little awkward. It, it probably should be two of today. I, I just wanted to see them. I like the guy. Well, we got the cosmetic style from. Uh, Whatever it was, a ranked season recently. Um, okay, um, I mean, all right, not terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and attack and then play Moneycorn, right? Attack with the mana open, maybe threaten a, I don't know, a protective spell. I don't know. Getting any, any ability, any chance to mentally tax, we'll take it. Magic Con Chicago. Um, okay, so that was it, where uh, 
Slogurk with v Vein Ripper. <coughs> One standard. Yeah, Big Fat MTG believes in Vein Ripper. That card is... I mean, I don't have to. <laughs> I think Jim Davis or whoever that person was on Jim Davis's team that won the Pioneer slash Explorer, I don't fucking know, um, thing. Um, no. With Vein Ripper. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to believe in it, but nevertheless. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. Yes! Michael Domaraki, one of Big Fat MTG's, wow, longest viewers, <coughs> Founders Club. How you doing? Welcome to the worst, the worst Magic Arena stream. Monstrous Rage on Felden. Okay, he's, he's putting in the damage, but, uh... Now we we got things that we can do too. <clears throat> oh, happy Easter, man. Oh. All right, we have 11. We have a blocker. It's possible that they can like dump their whole hand. I I'm sure there's a way that for them to do it. All right, I'm not terribly afraid of that. It takes two mana. All right, they didn't make the treasure, so they don't have three mana now. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know what? Yeah, block. All right, they're tapped out. I made my first angels. Oh, it's Boros. Oh, that's sick, man. Very cool, Michael. Are you, I wonder if you're using... Are you using Aurelia at all? I, I really wonder what the hell you're using. This is awesome. All right, boys. Let's let's probably go ahead and... Uh, should be an 8 power valet. Yeah, not bad there, Tana. That's a big bunny. Actually, let me go back here um, really fast. Let me see. Because um, two creatures entered, right, with Anna Pakal. So it was going to double starting from two. It was going to double twice. So it was going to go four and then eight. Yeah, and then we were going to have eight over here. Yeah, nice bunny. Yeah. <laughs> I like having four of these. I watched a couple of other people's videos, and most people had, like, two or three of these. I don't remember if anyone had four. I'm sure somebody had. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted four. <laughs> I'm fortunate enough to have acquired four. <laughs> I'm going to use them. It's funny. Just because I, I, want, I want the best shot of having two of them on the field. That's when it starts to get silly, you know. The 1-1 one, one Adam Pakals that she puts in are actually three threes because they're getting plus two, plus two. I mean, I play that Tribute Virtue deck. Or that, sorry, Tribute Pakal deck, you know makes three three gnomes i guess sovereign could make them bigger but like uh, i'm feeling i'm feeling like scratching that itch a little bit here that anim pakal shit um sadly i can't take this maybe if we had two one drops i could try it um i think this is much more keepable and i think i get rid of maybe the epicure here i could show you by playing, but I but the last time RNG ah, uh, but when you draw lands, you cannot show your deck. Well, maybe um maybe a playing a best of one. I don't know. You can whatever you want to do. It's all good, man. I understand. Um, but best of one will help us with um with opening hands, of course. Whereas um best of three, you know, we will get multiple games there. But whatever. Oh man, the Resplendent Angel is um, what a great card. I used to run them back in War of the Spark Standard. Um, all right, so this. I'm not feeling great. This might be a uh, easy leave. Eh. All right. Whatever. Yep, we'll draw after this happens. And I'll tell you what, Michael. I won't play against you with uh, this deck. 
Honestly, because, like, I mean, <laughs> you want to fuck it? Why don't I just play you with red deck wins, too, you know? Like, I, I think I can find something to play you with. I'll, I'll play you with a deck that'll that'll fucking dirtle, but, uh... Yeah. And it'll also put on a show, too, if it can win. Play you with, the, uh, with a Sultai Mill deck, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna... If you guys want to play me today, you can let me know if, like, you want to play this, or if you'd like me to, like pick a any other deck at all or maybe even if you have one in particular that you want to play like go for it if anybody's interested in that of course um do we attack with bunny corn here i don't really like it Like Preacher of the Schism. Bring it up. I took it out of the black um, creature deck that I was playing. Oh, Jix. Beautiful. Yep, black creatures. Alright, very good. Alright, let's go, Michael. Alright, man. Um, oh, That Billy of Skull Dweller is kind of tempting to block that shit, you know? I think we just lose on account of massive card advantage at this point, right? He's probably going to draw a nice mix of um, creature threats and this stuff. Yeah, this this one's over. Eh, never mind. We'll we'll just uh, we'll just challenge him after this. Try. I'll try to. I'll try to get Bringer the last gift on him. Oh, Johnny. Oh. All right. That's actually pretty good. So I will convoke um, using Anipakal and this thing. Right? And then we'll um, attack with a 3-3, three, three, which becomes a 4-4 four, four Regal Bunnycorn. Uh, so this. Yep. Convoke with a 1, 2, and then 1, 2, that. I want my attacker. All right. Uh, yes. Fucking press enter. Okay. Uh, resolute reinforcements. Whatever. It's not the best. Not the worst. Uh, also, I I could totally add, and I knew that that was going to be a five power creature. I knew that. Yeah, but big fat MTG is going to use so much Terror of the Peaks. Uh, you know what? All right. Yeah, Michael, you're up, dude. Yep. You got it. You got it, dude. Uh, I'll. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that Michael uh, is in Europe or something. So you know. I, I might want to be cognizant to the fact that the dude might be approaching midnight in his part of the world. Ah, oh, dude. Terror of the Peaks, I can't wait. All right, so I don't know if he wants best of one or uh, best of three. So I'll challenge him to best of one because I think he might get a better hand there and then maybe we can play two best of ones. He wants to show us what his deck does. So let's pick something that just dirtles like a motherfucker and let's let's give him a chance to show us what he's got. Uh, and I'll win the game. Don't worry. We're, we ain't condescending. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I will cast that bringer of the last gift if we if we ramp up to that shit. Yeah, and we're gonna and we'll do it for Jesus, Felix. Just like Jesus, bringer of the last gift, man. They they're all gonna rise. Oh man. All right. Let's uh let's find it. Um, did did I like did I change something up? Like it's it's Sultai, right? Okay. Let let me see. Um. Where in where in Tarnation? Is my here you go. Hey, hey yeah. Ooh, Jishath Avatar two with the oh with the nice Ariette sleeves. Oh, that's good taste. Alright, yeah, those are nice. Yeah, those, those are the Wilds of Eldraine sleeves, man. They they really knocked it out of the park overall. Sure. <clears throat> Alright. I go first. I keep We're gonna use this for the bottom mode. Hey, what's happening, Michael? All right, let's uh, drop. No, let's drop this one. Okay. 
Okay, I can do it. Gonna this mode, top three. Blah 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 blah. Is that looks good. <clears throat> All right, two lands in the graveyard. We got a blossoming tortoise. Don't worry about it. Lexicon architect, welcome to the worst magic grand stream. Thank you for showing up. Um. Oh. 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 All right. This this seems pretty good. He has to discard, but you know we don't see his hand. It's just one discard, so. I hope that doesn't royally fuck up. Oh, Aurelia, fuck yeah. All right. There you go. Restoration, very good. Swings for two damage. Isn't anything else? It only taps for one, but I assume no. Okay. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, hang on. This, this is tough. All right. We'll, we'll dirtle a little bit with this. The weak-minded will be educated in Phyrexian's ways. It, it won't last too long, I don't think. Giada makes, of course, incre her friends increasingly bigger, so... You know, good luck, have fun. And yeah, he could bring this back if he wants. Nothing like ossification in the land to pull... A, in the uh, graveyard to pull a nice play like that. This is good. I like this land also. Good taste. Oh, yeah. Pretty nice, yeah. Okay, sure. Sure, yep, I like. Wait, wait, wait. You could cast... Wait, wait, wait. You could cast this as a prototype from your graveyard with... Wait, wait you could cast that as a prototype from your graveyard with Sarah Paragon? Well, I guess I guess it specifically words it as cast a permanent spell with mana value three or less. I, I would have thought that this is a six, so you can't do it. It showed up there, right? Hey, let, let me hit thinking with the poor guy. Uh, although not even about my move, I was thinking about what the fuck you did right there. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Um, yeah, let's 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 just do this. I think it's either that or Amonkhet, and we could send this back to his hand. Uh, all right, I want this one. Right, uh <clears throat> Alright, let's let's just fucking dirtle. Wow, that's that's actually that's actually fucking cool. Right, and then, and then you could go ahead and like right if ephemerate it, blink just whatever. If you have that, that's wild. And I mean as it is with this one, like the biggest the big version isn't that much bigger. Like <laughs> I feel like the prototype version is why this card is so good. And and then it's nice that you can sink more mana into it and have a little bit of a bigger card. Certainly, I like that. Alright, Michael has... Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. By the way, fucking... Hello. Fucking let me hover over it. So, yeah, fucking nice, dude. Yeah, yeah all right. Um, all right, let, let's see if we can do anything against him here. Um, anything at all. Can we get him? Let, let's try to do something. Um, let me hit thinking, though, because he, he's he's doing pretty all right. Do I just do this? No, I can't. I don't have the mana. Um, I mean, I should have taken the other man land just so that I could afford to use it. I My bad, boys. I This is actually really tough right now. All right, um, this is actually really good, because we can use this. Um, yeah, we, we can actually do really nicely here. Um, all right, let's return this to his hand, I think. Let's uh, make him discard a card. And we're going to attack at Quintorius. I think, honestly, he could probably just discard the Restoration of Ganjo. I mean, unless if he needs to do that, is he going to get anything back with it? The chapter two isn't even very good. It's still a cool card, you know, but like, I don't know. I didn't mean to be too nasty to you. All right, and we can uh, put one of these into our hand and the rest into our graveyard. That's going to be a. Uh... All right, we attack at Quintorius. And we're going to bring back 
the Demir Manland, I think. Ooh, Restless Cottage is better. Uh, well, if I need to snipe his graveyard, it's better. I guess the Demir Land could be better. It's got Death Touch. <clears throat> yeah, actually, I fucked up. I think I probably should have taken the Demir one. He's still got 6 damage in the air. We're at 12 life. That's a 2 turn clock. I don't think I have a single thing that can deal... Oh, okay, yeah, he's... Yeah, alright. Very good. Yep. Be <clears throat> beautiful. Um, we're gonna have to find the bringer of the last... The bringer of the last gift, dude. Like, that's it. We're gonna have to find the bringer of the last gift. We're gonna have to find it. I shouldn't have put the land down. Oh, we got the bringer of the last gift. Holy shit. Uh, oh, we put it in the graveyard, though. Um, God, I'm so slow. I'm sorry, boys. I'm so slow. Alright, well. <clears throat> You'll get Bunny in a... The reason that I uh, switch decks um, is because Michael wanted to uh, show us what he's going to do. And if I play him with the, uh, with the Boros deck, I mean, I I'm basically going to have to... You know, it's, it's such a fast, ridiculous deck. All right, good game, Michael. Good game, Michael. All right. <clears throat> Damn. <clears throat> yeah, Steel Seraph. That's such a good card, dude. That that's crazy that you can play it from your graveyard with Seraph Paragon. That's that's I I love that. And I guess since you have War Leader's Call. <clears throat> All right, boys. One more against him with this, and then I'm gonna go right back to Boros. Oh, wait, you know what? I already fucked up, stupid. I should have dropped one that's black, duh. Oh, brother. Alright, well. <clears throat> Great work. So, what's the play here then? <clears throat> back to Jesus. My brother will be right back to Jesus. Alright, so that's an easy, um. That's an easy discard. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, oh, oh, oh. Do I do this one on him and just, like, get that going? Uh, oh. come on. You, you know what I meant. Yeah, I can't do it the other way, right? Oh, wait, fuck. <laughs> all right. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. I'm thinking. I'm actually thinking right now about how to better play the Boros deck. So when we switch back to it, I can make a slightly better play. I, I just autopilot. I'm supposed to mill myself. I'm, that's so. That's so silly. I'm sorry. So I'm thinking about go switching back to Boros. Okay, we discard a card here. Um, fine. Is it maybe that? I might have enough lands. All right. That's uh, that's pretty good. Um, we can let's let's plus you. Can we can we get away with dropping the manland here? Can we? Uh... Yeah. We might have to send Liliana back to his um, hand so he can't minus six it. We can do that with uh, Will of the Forgotten's middle, uh, top mode. Excuse me. I was going to say middle, target return, target non land permanent to its owner's hand. 
Beautiful. Target player draws two, loses two. Good. To, this is a card that, for some reason, just lives rent-free in my head all the time. I, I, I didn't even look it up if it was in standard or not. Just like when I get low life against a Shieldred, I'm always like, I actually got to stay a little a little ways away <laughs> from, you know, you two go. or four life because of a draw two, lose two type card. All right. Um, I think we might need the extra black on the field this turn. Um, do we? No, nah, it's fine. Um, all right. All right. All right. Um, Your player mills four cards. I think that's me. Because then we'll get closer to here. Right. Um, we can mill ourselves at this point just to be able to do this. Yeah, now that we have eight, we can choose um, all three modes. So one, two, three. Return this to your hand. You can discard a card. And then we get to look at the top three, put one in hand, rest a grave. So a Blossoming Tortoise would look pretty good right now. Uh, another, I guess, another Jace is okay. Um, yeah, I kind of like the Tortoise here. All right, thank you for uh, <laughs> dealing with me as I took forever there. But I know that this deck turtles hard and I want him to do his... Oh gosh, okay. Fucking let's go. Take Sirak and Goreclaw correctly. That sucks. That kicks this deck in the balls. The whole point is to give everything enemy and if everything back from the grave at once and give them all haste. I forget if this deck has two or three Sirak and Goreclaws. I hope I have three in it. Wonder what he got. Did he get? He might be reading Bringer of the Last Gift. Did did I not look? Oh, did he? Did he get? Was it Blossoming Tortoise? Is his Armored Scrap Gorge run? Did he? He might have uh, lost his connection. Is that what happened? If that's what happened, then in the rematch, I'm playing Boros against you, okay? Because I do want to switch back to it, because that is what's in the thumbnail. All right, I'll give him a moment here. I'll, oh, I have something here I didn't even uh, notice. Okay, what's... Uh, oh, William wants to play? William wants to play. Okay, fucking William. Let's go, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to play you with Boros, though. I'm sorry, but... Uh, I'll play with Boros for a little while, and then I'll switch back to uh, something here. If you guys want to face me, I'll play something that your dirtles. Uh, other than... Unless you want to play Boros. Do you, if you want to play me in, with Boros, you know? Okay, okay, you did lose it. All right, Michael. Um, I'll. Uh, <laughs> why don't we? Uh, why don't we get back to this later then? We can play another one. Thank you for uh, playing, but yeah, and let, letting me know, of course, in chat. I appreciate, it, man. Good games, very good games. Did did Italia? Did it show you what you got with Italia? I'm interested in uh, which which. Uh, I guess. All right, let's uh, let's get William here. All right, man. We're gonna play Boros, but we're I, th I think I'll go Ultra Greed Lord Cheese with him, and I'll try to amass uh try to amass War Leaders calls. See if we can't find the Devilish Valet, man. I want to get the Devilish Valet on William. Although it's gonna be really difficult to like swing in for a million with this deck because it it can't really spam counters onto Ann and Pakal. You can put out a good amount of creatures, of course, but like. Why play Devilish Valet if you're not trying to swing for, like, you know, the 32-bit integer limit? Oh, okay, so you did that. That did correctly display it. Okay, it was what I saw in my exile pile, the Blossoming Tortoise. All right, um, it looks like this might... Uh, did, is it working? The, I was just about to click the cancel button. Are we, um... Are we actually going... Am I going to have to restart the application? All right, well, thank you guys for your patience, guys. I, I, I think I'm just going to restart it right now. Um, oh, it's... Wow, okay, you're lucky I just pulled up Task Manager. All right, I'll, I'll X out of Task Manager. <laughs> All right, good. I, I'm happy that it worked. I, I thought that was just uh, going to be, oh, you know, multiplayer friends glitch, whatever.
for Jesus, asks Odin. Yes, Easter, Odin. Happy Easter to you, of course. Uh, absolutely. Um, um, I mean, I don't really like it. I don't really like this either. Oh, fucking, I don't give a shit, dude. All right, let's, uh, let's drop... I'm ready. I'm ready. You know what? Fine. Fine. Great games. Thank you. You get the idea of my decks now. You saw everything. Cool. Awesome. I'm happy that we saw. Yeah, I'm happy that you're satisfied with that game. You saw everything about my uh, Angels deck, and that second deck is a green, black, red control with ramp and big creatures. And yeah, I know you like Vivian on the hunt. Oh, yeah, man. Enjoy. Enjoy her while she's still in standard with us. Happy off oh, delicious Odin rules. Chocolate Easter followed by Bad Shuffler. Yeah, unfortunately, um having yeah, we have twenty two lands in the deck today. Down from twenty four where I usually play. Twenty I play twenty five sometimes, twenty three sometimes too. Rarely ever uh, do I deviate from that narrow margin. You know what? Good. Beautiful. I'd say next turn, we take f four seconds, three seconds, and then pass turn. Is, is it four? Uh, maybe we should do re re reinforcements, and uh, yeah, maybe we should just do it here on uh, our turn. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's just, uh, let's do this. Yeah. Feels right. Uh, no. Yeah, that is a um, good decision, I think. <laughs> this is a cute little card. Nice little sacrifice fodder. I like the little thing. Um, we're we're getting uh, we're getting war leaders call on him. Oh no, don't kill my creatures. I want to do my scry. Poor William is facing the Boros deck. But yeah, I, I do want to get back to playing this. <laughs> Let's go. And we'll get right back to the ladder. I think this is a good deck to play um, on day one of the uh, of the rank reset. Because, um, you know... <laughs> Platinum is mythic right now. Ah, uh, no. We uh, already have. I'm looking for more war leaders calls. Next turn, I drop Adam Pakal, buddy. Oh, no. Was it not enough? Oh, it wasn't enough. All right, we're going to do this. All right, we are going to do this. Uh, sure. Eh, maybe I should put that away. Yeah, I, I want more War Leaders calls. We gotta be stacking these shits. And yeah, throw Calyx in that deck. And just copy my War Leaders calls. I think that's kind of needless. It's funny to think about, but I think it's kind of needless. Wouldn't have minded that artifact uh, gnome because, um, yeah, Anna Pakal is one of our, um, I think, twelve sources of artifacts today, right? We have like eight one drops: the Voldoran thrill, uh, the Voldoran whatever, red one drop, the white one drop, the novice whatever the hell. Who knows? Um, let's go ahead and uh, 
Okay. Let's uh let's go ahead and whoa, 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 whoa. what is this? Alright. Let's uh do this. Uh, yeah, bye-bye. Alright, attack. Yeah, I think William is still pro is still learning about um, deck building. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, okay, okay. What what's this do? What are you doing? Okay, all right. Yeah, that's that's good. Have you thought about Voja? Oh wow, Voja's um Voja's pretty sweet. Um. Oh wait, I fucked up. I pressed it an extra space bar. Whatever, he can have it. Voja's pre I'll probably play some Voja. I don't I don't know if I have it yet though. I, I usually I I try to be picky with my mythics, but yeah, Voja is pretty cool. It is a pretty wild effect. Something that we could do. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes. Oh, right, I have Mural in here. Do we have a decent amount of soldiers? This one's a soldier, right? And I think, is Anna Pakal? Yeah, I think Anna Pakal's a soldier. You're a knight, though, right? You're a soldier. You're a soldier. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get Mural in here, and let's let's take out Devilish Valley. And, uh, Devilish Valley is funny. Let's take, uh, let's take out that. Well, I have to put in one so that we have the same amount of cards. I really wish I got. I don't think I. Ha I don't think I got any Vojas. I, I think I'd like to run a deck with three of her. Uh, and Naya, elves, and wolves. And I guess, I guess, at least since it's wolves, is is brutal Cathar a wolf or a werewolf? Because I'm I'm just thinking like white. What the hell am I gonna do with a white wolf? Maybe there's something I can't think of it now. It werefox bodyguard. Is that a wolf or is that a werewolf? Still got two whites in its mana cost, but still. Do I, do I just have a token representation of white? I wonder. I, ha I haven't really thought too much of it yet. That's why I'm wondering that aloud, too. That's pretty uh, pretty basic uh, deck building. <laughs> wow. Yep, take. that. This is a, this is a keep... This is a Best of three? This is a best of three? You're getting hands like that? The fuck? Alright, so so we're gonna switch uh we're gonna switch down the power level uh after uh today. I'm thinking uh not too far down though. I'm thinking Ariette tomorrow, honestly, because um, it's it's fast and I, Mythic emptied out into uh into platinum. So I'm gonna need to beat a lot of red, a lot of a lot of good competitors. Yeah, I haven't played it in a while too. It's kind of cute. I like it. It's got Katilda. <laughs> I love Katilda. Where are the... I know, Delta Quadrant. I have three of them in here because I wanted to see them today. I, I It's probably better with two, to be honest. But, like, I want to see my gosh darn bunnies. <laughs> Where the hell are they? Um, Let's go ahead and do this. I guess I only need to do three of these, right? We don't have any uh, four mana cost creatures. 
Um, oh, I don't even get a bunny. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. Um, Anna Pakal's funny. So, that's what we do. I love Anna Pakal. Fucking funny. This deck does such a ridiculous amount of stuff. Are you guys seeing, like, what we're doing here? It does so god- you know, I, I actually should probably keep that. But, like, I think I just want a war leader call. Hey! Regal Bunny Corn! Yeah, that's got to be annoying to uh, face up against. <clears throat> so, William, thank you for your bravery. I appreciate your uh, I appreciate your challenge, man. Thank you for uh, thank you for facing this god awful deck today. Uh, once again, boys and girls, I uh, oh, I forgot that exactly when the ranks reset. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting every single month that it's not at the first of the month. It's it's at the last of it. So, I, I did this because it's Easter and I wanted something good to go in Mythic, okay? <laughs> With Regal Bunny Corn in it, I thought this could get the job done. Eh, eh, I mean, that's a lot of blood tokens, so I guess we'll try it. I, I don't know if I'm thrilled with this hand, though. Switch out your card in red and white. Oh, you want to face a uh, a different deck, William? I'll give you an I'll give you a rematch with another deck, man. Yeah, you were uh you were brave enough to deal with that shit, man. I got you. I got you. Um, let's go ahead and attack. If you'd like to send me another challenge, I'll play you with a different deck. I gotta think of what I want, though. I don't want to do that bringer to the last gift again. Do I have another Boros deck? I do have another Boros deck. I'll play William with that Nahiri deck. That Boros Nahiri deck, right? I'll play you with that. Not really nearly the same thing as this deck, but still, it's Boros. Okay. That's uh that's pretty good. Let's uh get this down. I only need to convoke three things, um or we could convoke five and find another one of these. Wow. I, I think he's... I, I get it. <clears throat> you know, we're playing something that he's uh, that he's uh, done with, you know? But, like, that's that's a whole lot of energy to... Like, don't you think that you're furthering their victory against you by expending that, you know, that energy? He could be smashing the concede button. And also, let's see if he hits uh, Path of Peril, right? That's why I thought it might be good to convoke the full five, right? All right, let's uh, attack. I don't think I'm going to miss all that damage, right? And then we'll do this. He tired himself out. I feel bad. This deck does so much, dude. Yep, he had Path of Peril, but that's why I'm happy that we have another one of these, right? Pretty happy with that. Uh, actually, let's keep that. We can discard to the Blood Token. I should have done that pre-combat, right? Because what if I got the War Leader's Call here? Ooh, 
Okay, end turn. Foja doesn't come in. It do oh, interesting. It doesn't. Okay, I, I heard something about in paper. It also didn't then, right? I think, was it maybe pre-release only? Ex pre-release exclusive, however it was phrased. Huh. Or pre-order or mastery. The Wow. All right. Well, let's uh, go ahead and do this. Anim Pakal. Wow. Um, I maybe we should hold on to this and then do it at their end step. Okay. Wow, we got War Leader's Call. <clears throat> Alright. Oh yeah, yikes. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Maybe we pass turn. Shieldred, wow. Wow, alright. Uh, do we block that? We go down to 7 and then 5 if we don't. Um. Alright, no blocks. I'm scared. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, let's uh, attack with both. I just I just wanted them to not block the the uh, the gnome. I figured a one in three chance to block it is better than a. Uh... I watched our games. All right. Really cool. Always great. Thank you, Michael. Same back at you. I appreciate that. Thanks for going easier with me. You got it. <laughs> yep. I'm a decent player, but oh, I appreciate That's very kind of you. Okay. That's that's a lot. Uh, we have to block everything there. Right. That's a, that's a menacer. So basically, if Devilish Valet can swing in, we win. And if they hold up a removal spell open, then uh, we're we're dead. <laughs> Weird. Oh yeah, this is in the shop right now. Um, boys, I think we won. I think we won. Oh, but he's not going to be happy. This is this is the rage conceit, dude. Oh yikes. Uh, we're I I am doing this. Wanted to give him his chance to rage concede. I, I'm not proud of doing that with uh, Boros, but I mean, if he's going to sit there and expend that much effort to just let me know he's mad, I will say, "LOL, you mad." <laughs> I'm not. Well, I'm not proud of it. The deck did it for me. We're here playing Boros on Easter because it's got bunny corn in it. I thought I forgot the ranks reset to the, today, not tomorrow. And I thought bunny corn is good in this deck for Mythic. Let's let's not spend all day losing. <laughs> but
But yeah, <laughs> happy to do that to that guy, I guess. Vitor Kouto, I was going to say Kouto, it's Kouto, or not, Kouto. Hello, my friend Brazil. Yes, welcome from Brazil. Thank you for coming, for choosing repeatedly now, and on purpose, the worst Magic Arena stream. Kouto, Kouto. Um, I, I don't know about this hand. Fine. Get rid of... Uh, I actually might want that. Or do I just get rid of an Epicure? Because that's a lot of them. It's a lot. Feeling pretty good about the elegant parlor here. <sighs> well, we want to find something nice. Something like a war leader's call. An Anna Pacal. I'm running four of them. Because I like them. A, a bunny corn could be pretty good. Maybe it would uh, be get bigger than their burn pretty fast. We make all the blocks that we can. You know what? Good. Pass. If it's if it's uh, War Leader's call, we're gonna have a very bad day. Sure. Yep. Okay. I mean, they're gonna get you know the plus out of this. This is really good for them. So yeah, every block we can. Here. You know what? Awesome. They have no cards in hand. They, they drop the Mirix, though. You know, that does stuff. Okay. We'll block uh, all the two power stuff. Okay. You know what? Sure. Um, let, let's start with this. Yeah, I get <laughs> no. Yep, Merrick's still uh, still putting out two power stuff. Then that's good. We're gonna need some real good stuff. Wow, fucking wow! And I'll keep this in hand for the other blood token too. As a matter of fact, why don't we start out by doing this? Wow. 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 <laughs> Holy boys, we. We getting that spoon feeding out here, dude. Wow. Uh, do do we do this now? We tap a lot of stuff. I don't know if I want to do that, but it makes it bigger than this. So yeah, let, let's let's uh yeah one two three. Uh yeah sure sure. It's not great, but I, I don't know. If I if I send it away and then I get a land, I don't know. It's something. The blood token will be good the next turn. Right, now I can block their 3-2. Oh, yikes. Major yikes. 
Oh, dude, major yikes. I should probably, I mean, I have to block a uh, four power thing, so. Uh, does this have a, uh, yeah, I can't even block that one, right? So we have to win here. So I should have put this away, I guess, and hope for Ann and Pakal. Oh man, yeah, I think that's it. Cause uh, yeah, I, I can't I can't touch this thing either way, right? Cause I, I have to block it, and when this aura is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. So good game. Yeah, Tana. Yeah, the blood token would have been nice. Too bad they were able to force a nice um, lethal there with that thing. Yeah, too bad. That would have, that was really nice with the uh, with the um, whatever that one top of the graveyard that guy. <laughs> Good game. I don't know. I I enjoyed that game. All right. I really want to get some smashes in with some bunny corns though. We've gotten one nice one today. 8 power bunny cord and 8 power something else. I don't remember, whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about it. We're running 22 lands today. You know, not crazy little. I saw people running like 21 lands in this one. So it's Vulgar and Epicure, and uh, then tap all the stuff. Commune with spirits. Calyx. Ooh, Calyx is uh, something. <clears throat> Calyx will be the recipient of this thing. Uh, yep. Hey, buddy core. Yeah, we gotta need a. Uh, a big bruiser out, because you know, if they uh, start going with Michiko's Reign of Truth. Kami of Transience is good, but I'm going to trust my Regal Bunnycorn to be bigger than it. Um, we, we can also go Ann and Pakal here and start growing that. Um, let's uh, start by attacking. Uh, hang on, why don't we do this? One, two, three. Uh, do we like that? That makes a big Regal Bunny Corn next turn. I don't mind that, honestly. It's not War Leader's Call, though. I, maybe I have enough to do next turn with four mana, right? Both of these things. So maybe maybe we'll just... You know, since I have my, my kind of my mind set up on what I want to do. All right, that's fine. We just want the counter on Anna Pakal here. We're hoping that they drop Calyx. Now we're hoping that they don't drop Ossification on Ann and Pakal. All right. Let's, uh, We drop this. Do I do I keep Sokens on? I don't know. Let's uh let's do this, right? So we can get the uh one, two, and you. We can get yeah, the vigilance and the flying. <clears throat> Alright. We will now attack. And both of the things will die, you know, but Anna Pakal's still growing. All right, I'm uh, I'm good. I guess I could have dropped the case there. So 
As long as they don't bust out the combination like Audacity plus <laughs> plus Ossification, we should be good. Hey, that Jukai's pretty big. I don't know if I'm thrilled with that right now. It's actually a, a big... Oh, no. Yeah, that that might be the end of the game. With Calyx now um, dumping Audacities onto Jukai, massive life gain. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that'll uh, that'll probably end the game. Uh, we can kill the uh, we can kill one of them. Maybe the Jukai is the best one to kill here, so that they don't get the Calyx stuff. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's the best one to kill here. All right. Um. We have to kill that somehow. I don't know how we're going to do it. I don't, I don't think we do it. Um, we should focus on killing Calyx here. Do we start by attacking? I could also try to drop Sokins on. I don't know if I need it. Let's see if we can get a War Leader call, dude. Come on, give me the fucking War Leader call. Uh, that's a little disappointing. Uh, that really is a bit disappointing. All right, let's attack with uh, Regal Bunny Corn, and uh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Eh, nah, with uh, this, I think. Is that it? I might need the blocker. Yeah, I guess that didn't do anything, really. I just changed that one creature for a different creature. Yeah, that didn't really do anything. Whatever, we have to kill Calyx. Yeah, that huge Jukai swing was really good. No war leaders here is pretty sad. We, ha we actually have a pretty good Pakal here, right? We put in four two twos and Delta damage each time. And that's really good. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's it. We're uh, we're done here. Oh, we're, we're not doing it. Man, recently I ran um I ran Calyx with red, so um Naya Calyx. And we used modified hot springs. <laughs> the um red green enchantment from Nuka Pena, Kamigawas, one of those. Uh, modified creatures you control have haste. And like once per turn it can put like a plus one plus one counter on one of your creatures somehow. I forget exactly how, but like because with Calyx and Generous Visitor, you're putting Plus one, plus one counters all over the place. That's a modification. Deck's running four Audacity modification. Four uh, Tally's Favor. The Discover three enchantment. So many modifications. Uh, yeah, sure, let's take this. It's a good hand. Not a lot of uh, graveyard hate here. Okay, sure. That's a jackalope! Don't let MTG fool y'all. What's going on, Richard Dragon? Welcome to the worst Magic Race stream, man. Very nice to have you. Let's uh, do that. Uh, yeah, I... Oh, fuck, fuck. Sorry, 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 sorry. My bad. <laughs> I had fatal misfiring. <laughs> I, I I know I have too. I my bad. Fatal stupid misfiring. I'm so. <laughs> well, I'll use my stupid. Blood. All right. God damn it! This. All right. Well, uh, let's do this. <sighs> All right, whatever. Do this. This. Uh, 
Um, I mean, that is actually pretty good, because we do get more of the uh, scries with this that way, right? Um, maybe that's good, even though I really do want the land. I, I really do want it, but uh, yeah, all right, let's just, uh, let's do that, yeah. All right, three whole entire damages. Sure, we'll uh, see. Uh... <sighs> well, let's go ahead and uh... do I get rid of one and a Pakal here with a blood token and then bash the other one? Might do it. I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah. Get rid of Anna Pakal here. Let's find that land, man. Oh, brother. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, as a matter of fact, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's uh, let's do this. Right, right, right. Let's let's tap this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tap it first. All right. War leaders call. That's great, but we do that land is buried, huh? All right. Now let's do this. And now let's do this again, right? Uh, one or, or we can get the knight errant here at this point. We're not going to deal t super a lot of damage there. Yeah, let's just convoke out. Uh, that and uh, eh, sure, both, whatever. Delta Quadrant hates blue. Oh man. You don't like it taking for goddamn ever to be such a tedious game of wait forever to ask permission to no follow the rules. Oh, man, really? All right, let's see if they just uh, reanimate with Squirming Emergence. I guess, can they get a Troxa? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I, I feel silly about that first knee-jerk <laughs> keep to the end in Bakai. I... And the fatal misfiring just happens. That's how it is. Cest la vi, as they say. Oh, I missed a richer dragon, and bunnies are flat. Okay, so that's a jackalope. Oh, ooh, ooh okay, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've seen a, a, a nature documentary once or twice. Okay. I know that thing exists. I think those are in... Fucking, those were in RuneScape back when I, yeah, that's where I, that's where I fucking know Jackalope from, from the fucking goddamn raising them, and ugh, God, thank, thank the Lord I found it within me at some point to, alright, they take too long, says Delta Quadrant, <laughs> weak sauce from Moonwatcher, I, 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 that makes me really want to see their hand, to just, like, know what was going on there. Like, did, did real-life call, like, what's going on there, man? I, I, I gotta know. Let's get this one down, right? It blocks theirs. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I fucked up there, because I only have one source of red, and I might want to do both of these next turn, so I guess it's Bunnycorn. All right. Uh, I kind of want bunny corn. Yeah, we got some uh, big damage coming. Oh, wow. Wowie. All, all right. Now we're going to have to try to do some of the same ourselves. Oh, we got an Anim Pakal. That will start to get a little interesting. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should attack in with Regal Bunnycorn.
Imagine if one of us had the board wipe. Imagine actually playing it and then just playing that game out. The top deck wars Boros Convoke v Boros Boros Convoke. It might be the race to one of these guys. Some blood tokens or something. Yeah, they're looking really good. They got plenty of chumps. I think they win next turn. I, I think we need a uh, War Leader's Call, but even if we get War Leader's Call, we still need another source of red so we can do like War Leader's Call and Lethal Demolition. Um, man, I, I almost want to use that shit to draw, but I, I don't really want to do that. Um, let me hit. Uh, let me hit thinking here. Uh, <laughs> This is actually a uh, kind of fucking. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really thrilled right now with uh, what I have. Really not thrilled with what I have. Wow. Wow. All right, we're just going to try to screw up their block on Regal Bunnycorn. Okay, uh, sure. Uh, wait, 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 wait. But then Regal Bunnycorn's going to die if I let this happen, right? If I let these two things die. So we have to play this now. Oh dear. Well, yeah, that'll uh, that'll be yeah the absolute okay yeah. That'll be the absolute end of it yeah. Not even a chance. Regal Bunnycorn's not uh, getting trampled anytime soon. Bunnycorn feels like such an Ikoria kind of creature, says Moonwatcher. I almost feel like it's storybooky. I, I wasn't playing during Ikoria, so maybe if I was, I'd feel the same way as you. I think I have a pretty good avatar and sleeves combo for what we're playing today. Uh, dude, I have 22 lands, okay? You don't have to give me fucking one land So I have 22 lands, dude. That's two less than my usual 24. Like, come on, bro. Okay. A war leader's call is a good one. You know what? Sure. Sure. Aw, oh, I couldn't resist and I bought the pet rock. Yeah, you got a, a good deal for it, man. What was it? A thousand gold? Whatever. Yeah, um... What Moonwatcher's talking about, boys and girls, check the shop in the um, featured deals for a very limited time only. Um, I would imagine you can get a uh, pet rock there. I'm going to discard this since like I, they don't seem to have too many creatures. Looks like maybe more of a discard strat, right? So I think we can get away with that one. Uh, let's drop you and... Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe I should have done that. Um, let's go ahead and attack. Do I want this one down? No. You would have had fun with the Multiply Landfall Green Bug. During Ikoria, was Scoot Swarm a part of that by any chance? Mutating into Scoot... Okay, yeah. Scoot, there he is. Speak of the devil, of course. Mutating into Scoot to make an army of 6-6 six, six, trample. Whoa, whoa. Reach, flying, death touch. Oh. 6-6 six, six, trample, reach, flying, death touch. That sounds good. Who was that? Okay, they're uh, destroying that. You know what? Fine. Let's uh, add the uh, colorless from it, right? All right, we'll, we'll grab the red. No prob. 
Uh, no, wait, not that one. I want that one. Mutate was so whack, he misses it. Okay, um, let's, ooh, if we get this down, we can also draw the card after we do this guy, so yeah, let's do this one. Um, yeah, this is only two, okay, so, um, if this doesn't require tapping like a bloodstone would, or a blood token, excuse me. Um, alright, so, let's do that, yes, fucking, please, um, so, that, right there, I, I, I don't even care, I'll, I'll just get it out of the way right now. I can't have a pet rock, says Richard. Oh, he's crying. I, I feel terrible. It's too cold in my house. Oh, man. You can have one here on Magic Arena. It's called Dwayne. Because it's a rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson, for anybody who's not familiar with that little bit of American culture. All right, they do that. That sucks. Um, we have Adam Pakal. Let's hope that they have discards in their hand now. Alright, that's, uh, pretty nutters. Alright, that'll be a uh, past turn. I would say he just lays behind Shieldred now. Thunder Junction feels like Kamigawa power. Oh no, it's getting uh, it's getting killed. That's uh, that's too bad. Yeah, I think we can probably just leave them. Some of the cards demand in Thunder Junction, man. I mean, if you're talking about power levels like Invoke Despair, I would assume that's what you're talking about. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I mean, I, I haven't been paying too close attention to the other cards, but like that, you know, railroad work or whatever, the five cost rhino that whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a number of plus one plus one counters on it equal to its power. And the Hydra that doesn't just have three awesome combat keywords, but when it dies, it makes all those treasures equal to its power. I mean... Wow, man, yeah. Why are you not rocking your awesome full set of one with nothing, says Moonwatcher. I think I actually, I think I own only one of one with nothing. I'm pretty sure I was collecting a little bit um, during that uh, old, con that original uh, Kamigawa block. Oh, that, that, that's kind of cute that they uh, gave the uh, playset out. The pet rock, yup, it actually is called Dwayne. The red spree instant. Ooh, I, I, I'll have to recheck that. <laughs> um, all right, let's let's get this one down. Right, we're just gonna do resolute reinforcements. I've honestly been fucking up a little bit. I'm gonna try to do better. No, no guarantees. I'll be real. Sorry, this is completely new to me. Excuses. Alright, let's get that down. Looks like they uh, might have open, uh, I would say, a get lost. So, uh, yeah, the backup and in Pakal there, that's actually such a good draw. Yeah, I, I love Pakal, man. That's why I run four of them, like, when I just love it, love it, love it. Because, like, first one's dead. I, I, I mean, it's not dead by some miracle, but I always assume, and so I want to maximize my odds of finding that gosh darn replacement. Let's see if they hit temporary lockdown. We're, I, right today, I'm the exact reason they would hit it right now. OTJ, yes, outlaws looking pretty strong indeed. Fifteen minutes says Delta Quadrant with this blue. Oh no, I'm sorry, Delta. Although I'll be real with you, man. Uh, while you're while you're playing that person, everybody else isn't. So you know, like we we do we do honestly have to, you know, like thank you for that. <laughs> um, for what that's worth. Do I do this and then just, like, get a massive attack? Because what the fuck else am I going to do here? 
I guess I should have manually tapped this for colorless. Like somebody who isn't a moron. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Alright, I would assume the sunfall happens here, right? I remember people saying Kamagawa was going to be the next Eldrain. Very powerful, perhaps. Alright, let's do a Resolute Reinf Let's do a this one and then Resolute Reinforcements. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gleeful Demolition might hit this. <laughs> Although, I mean, I don't know. We might want to go as wide as we can at them. Do we just do Gleeful Demolition in the man land here? Uh, do we put Pakal into this? We can. We can. I think we kill this. So that way it also can't block our man land after the next sunfall. Although I, I guess the replacement will block our man land. <laughs> Thus, yep, I'm still watching you play. Alright, so man land. Right, I, I think it's man land here. We, I think we have to find... Oh, Jesus. We have to find a Volderin Thrill Seeker or something. Or the, the Volderin Epic here, my bad. But now that he's gaining life, we can't just uh, get that one life. We might want to get rid of Bunny Corn. Is, is it going to be too good here? We don't have a lot of stuff going on. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I have a lot of non-land permanents. Now, obviously, I have even less. Oh, okay. I'm fine with plot, but spree... Um, like, I have a question. I don't usually, I don't usually, but, um, when I do counter four mana spells, yep. How would that work with Spree? Huh, oh, interesting. I, I wonder, you know, does the additional cost factor into the four mana spells? Hmm, that's a, that's a good question. That really is. I, I couldn't answer that. Um, let's start with this. Um, I, I guess. I guess. Is, is that really good? Might not be able to use that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Uh, this is only going to become a 4-4 here, and then it trades with that thing, right? Oh, but it gets bigger. It gets bigger. Right, 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 right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, it's going to animate tapped. Oh, my God. I'm such a mess. Okay. I'm... I'm oh, all right. Whatever. It's going to be over soon, and then we're going to get on to the next one. Fucking, you know, just watch me fumble with this shit today. Yep, bye. That, uh, yeah, that's a lot of lifelink on the field. We are, uh, done with that one. I have a challenge! Let's get to it. Oh, okay, okay, let's see. Um, oh, I'm so far behind. Alright, Moonwatcher answered that, okay. Alright, Moonwatcher, brave enough to uh, go up against Big Fat MTG's goofy fucking Boros deck today. Thank you for the challenge. The mana value, I see what Moonwatcher said, so no matter which mode you choose, okay, I am ha I'm happy to know this. No matter which mode you choose and which additional costs you pay, the mana value of a spell 
with Spree is based only on its mana cost. Sent you a challenge, biggest, fattest. Okay, and I am now caught up with chat. I've read everything. I didn't read it aloud, but I did read everything. Unless I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good hand. This is a good hand. Although, now that I think about it, is it really? Because I need, I need an artifact, and then I guess it's a good hand, because then I have a bunch to uh, tap with this. Alright, that is good. That's definitely good. That gives me uh, tapping with this on turn two. Seems like that's what uh, this deck likes to do. Paradise Druid, one of my favorites. I, I used to use that as my Mana Dork of choice in War of the Spark Standard. Of course, with Lanoir Elves. <laughs> it goes without saying. Uh, yes. T oh, no. Delta Quadrant. R RIP. It, it happens, man. Ugh, turn seven with only two mana. Yep. Wonderful. I hope the game feels fucking good. Hope it feels good about itself. Um Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So he probably returns our attacker to hand. Uh, I mean, that's that's a lot of mana. Do I need that much mana to get two creatures on the field and then kill this? We might need a decent amount of mana. I'm actually going to keep that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can do one and then this and then this. Because he might make it bigger. Oh, it has Hexproof. Oh, fucking god, right, because it mutated on Paradise Druid. Fucking right, that's what mutate is, right? It maintains a lot of abilities. Forget it. Like all the abilities from everything. With the stats of the thing on top or whatever. I don't fucking know. I, I like it. I think mutate's awesome. Um, but now that this is tapped, this is our very rare chance. Because Paradise Druid only has Hexproof as long as it's tapped. Thank God. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, so I, I happen to know that. <laughs> That's the only reason Big Fat MTG knows a fucking goddamn thing. Don't get used to it. Uh, yeah, we can't do that. My bad, my bad, my bad. Um, Alright. All right, I'll, I'll stop fucking around. I'll stop fucking around. Uh, let's get this one down, too. Um, let's do this. Um, sure. He said nice, so thanks. And we'll uh, attack. Up. Oh, it said nice for me instead of thanks. All right. Thank. Not nice. Oh wow. Okay. Um, this. I'm just fucking attacking. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. They definitely, yep, <clears throat> that's definitely the one to take out. We actually can't hit this right now, so uh, fooey on us. Let's pass. This deck is pretty neat. Thank you, uh, Delta Quadrant. Unless you're talking about Moon Watcher's deck, in which case, yes, I agree. I definitely agree, so I'll, I'll take it both ways. Those Ulamog sleeves are rat. Oh, Felix likes the Ulamog sleeves. Fuck yeah. Uh, let's get rid of that one right now. And destroy target creature. Br absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. That's, wow, that's phenomenal. All right, let's uh, do this. Uh, let's do this. I think I want an attack. Yeah, let's let's get Bunnycorn. But we, we have to kill that shit. 
Because he's killing our shit when it mutates. He's, he's getting wild mutate shit on us, so we're getting so lucky. We found two out of our three of those. So that, that poor guy is, uh... <laughs> that's really fucking frustrating. That happened to me the other day. I totally rage conceded that game all butt mad. Oh, fuck yeah, you better believe I did. All, all, always bent out of shape with that shit. I can't tell if I have lethal here. It looks like I have, fi uh, maybe I have, fi oh, 15, okay. Right, I can add. Forgot that Moonwatcher has those OG, or are those OG? Those, uh, emotes that he just did there with, like, the long text, right? Isn't that how they, like, started out selling emotes? N thank you, GG. Back at you, Moon Watcher. Thank you, man, for your uh, challenge today when I'm playing this fucking Boros deck. Man, happy to take a bunch of challenges from you guys today. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is a cute little hand. Yeah. Let's take it. Ah, uh, you. And you. The white one drop would also be really good with the scries and all. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's get, uh, Regal Bunnycorn down. Regal Bunnycorn could get a really nice uh, little attack next turn with Anna Pakal down. Yeah, we're uh, we're definitely going to uh, apply ourselves some pressure. Yes, please. Oh wow! Oh pff, Jesus, dude. I mean, yeah, I don't blame him if we're actually hitting in with the big early Bunnycorn there. Like, yeah, poor guy. All right, so we we got a cute little Bunnycorn. Blink and you missed it. <laughs> But it did do well there. <laughs> so well that it ended the game immediately. <laughs> there was once a regal bunny corn. It was so big that our opponent died. The end. I get rid of one of these or one of the lands. I think I get rid of one of the lands. Right? Oh yeah, thank you, uh thank you, Moonwatcher, for asking Felix there now that I'm <laughs> catching up with chat that <laughs> definitely I'm keeping on falling behind with. Yep. Friendly match. Blah, 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 blah. Kill spells? Yeah, we got so fortunate with those uh, kills, Richard. And once again, I'm running three of that case in the deck today. Unless if I went down to two, I think I'm running three. You know what? Let's keep that because we can play that out and then fully convoke out the Knight Errant, right? Yeah, we're actually going to do that. I mean, I'm all about it, honestly. We can get another Knight Errant. I, well, I guess we're getting exactly that. So with the land, I think we play Ann and Pakal, right? Oh, if they're yeah, if they're going Virtue one by one on that instead of the um, what the hell am I thinking? Whatever. Instead of the Path of Peril, then we're looking pretty good. All right, so let's let's do this, right? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, attack. 
right? That gets us something real fat on the field. They'll need another creature. I, I would guess it would be Shield Raid because the suspected thing can't block. Oh, Phyrexian Arena. You might as well attack. I mean, all we have to do is get him down to one, right? So let's do this, right? For a fatter bunny corn, yeah, and then that looks about right. Was it lethal already? Hang on, was it was it exactly lethal before that? Because this was a six and four, that's ten. And then plus, oh, wow, we had exactly lethal there without doing that. Holy shit, dude. And then once again, we only had to get him down to one anyway, and then he would uh, draw the card from Arena. Aren't Riz Ards just bards with a few mage skills? So was, was that the person's name? I want I hear Riz in that. That's what that's what the little kitties are running around saying, right? Rizzed up and, and Riz down and and then Riz Riz here and a Riz Riz there. And I'm fucking old and my bones hurt and and I can't keep up with all the newfangled ways that kitties are saying things. Back in my day we called that game. Kids. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's a good card. I like that card. Pretty cool card. Alright, they're getting good stuff down. I'm scared. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Let's get uh let's get two things down. Let's get uh you down. And we do have to take fat damage next turn. All right, Kumano's flipping over. You know what? Yes. I'm thinking next turn, <coughs> maybe Regal Bunnycorn plus Novice Inspector. Try to make that pretty big and then lay behind it as hard as possible. Oh, boy. Yeah, the, uh, the damage is bad. Damage is bad. I'm actually going to do the uh, Warden once here. Uh, one, two, and three. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, um, pass turn. <clears throat> Godric, oh, brother. Because Godric can get flying, so, uh... We're going to need to uh, make sure that that Warden has the three counters on it, right? And then we're good. Wow. Okay, that's ridiculous. That's huge, dude. That's straight up huge. Uh, <laughs> wow. All right, all right, all right. Because right. um, we're actually looking okay now, right? Yeah, that's actually wild. I'm doing this now so that we have more to tap into that. Uh, on this one? Yeah. Ah, oh, shoot. I sh I sh my bad, my bad. Shit, I should have tapped it first for this guy. My bad. Yeah, yeah, I fucked up. My bad. Ah, damn it. Um, I don't know about that. I might want a War Leader's Call or a land, you know? Um, yeah, I don't blame him for getting right the fuck out of there. Because he can't even fly Godric over our head there. So I'm happy to take a game against Red there. Super happy there. But do I do this again and lose three more blockers and keep this? Or do I... I think maybe I should not do this again, right? Even though the game's over, duh. Like, I, it, it seems kind of risky to tap in. Even one, two, three. I don't know. We would have four blockers. But we're so low. I don't know. I don't know. It feels risky. I'm fairly sure it's old millennials like me saying Riz. Ah, thank you, Moonwatcher. Rewatching the match. They are the OG. Okay, okay. The OG's emote from Zendikar. Thought so. Well, I didn't know it was from Zendikar. Nice to know. 
thought they were OG emotes, making up for all the times I was forced to say charisma. I think it's a nice word. I like charisma. I don't like your characterization of being forced to say it. I still should save the counters for board wipes only, but I just went to check on the spree card. Oh, you're, okay, you're still talking about the spree cards. Yep, 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 cool. Um, uh, uh, I... Fine, I'll try it, dude. I don't feel... I think this is just going to end disastrously, but I'm just curious if we can get to, like, third land and if it'll actually um, work out nicely. I think they take Novice Inspector. I think everything else is pretty obviously safe. I, maybe the only thing they could take is Devilish Valet. Wow, they took that. They took that. Okay. Um, do I get Bunny Corn down and then go this into that next turn? Or maybe I do this into Gleeful Demolition right now. If I do Regal Bunny Corn, I'm just thinking, you know, it's going to be a 1-1. One, one. And so, like, I don't want it to get hit, hit by Virtue. If I can wait a turn and have it get not hit by Virtue. I don't know. Let's get the land, dude. Just give, give me the land. Oh, my God. Alright, um... Do we attack? I don't even want to lose one. Ooh, Shieldred, brutal. Brutal. Okay, interesting. And we, we need to find Ann and Pakal, and then, like, we're doing good. Ooh, that makes him another lifelinker. Flyer, too. Yeah, well, we need to find some spam. You know what? Not bad, honestly. I'll take it. I think we can go Devilish Valet here and then this, right? And it'll double from three to six, and then we can send it in here, which I think is pretty good. All right, let's uh, send that there, see what they do. Wallow in darkness, then. All right, so another Gleeful Demolition would be good, and Anna and Pakal would be cool, too. Yeah, they definitely attack with the Flyers there. Oh, we're getting picked apart here. Next turn, we lose. Pretty much. So we need to get the Gleeful Demolition so that we have the huge Devilish Valet. I think that's pretty much all we can hope for here. You know what? That's that's good. We can kill Shieldred, I think. Right? Maybe take off some of the pressure here. Um, do, do they have... They have seven in the air. Alright, I think it only makes sense to attack with that one, given that they have, like, lifelink on the bat. I think they'll just take that. Alright, they have seven in the air. We have, like, one shot. They drop Shieldred, that closes it off, too. That's bad. That's really bad. Oh, you should attack with Jix. Oh, you were supposed to attack with Jix. Right? Because then it, Jix would die. Because I, I would have to block it with something that can kill it. I'd lose two life. Ugh. What a scrub. 
I think he's just gonna win anyway. It looks like he's uh, got something, right? Because he didn't even do the. Uh... Yeah. Okay. He didn't even do the. Uh... Yeah. Thing. I don't know. I, I. I think you're a chud. I, I. I don't think. I think that's showing off for people who. Uh... Mm, I, I. I'm not impressed. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even butt mad or anything. I'm, I'm just like, okay, that's 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 really like eh, garden variety cute. I don't know. Not not impressive. Definite, yes. This is an awesome hand. I mean, are you a waste of time? Just let me know. All right, all right, all right. Maybe not. Okay. Got this in hand, so let's get down the uh, the warden, I guess. Right? I think the warden's pretty good here. Right? Yeah. Start working with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Eh, I don't know. We already got one. Okay, I think we're resolving War Leader's Call. Uh, we could also resolve Ann and Pakal here. That is definitely another thing that we could do. Maybe that's best. Right, so now we can do this. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, Tigad! Happy Easter back at you. Thank you for coming by the worst Magic Arena stream. Ooh, and thank you. There we go. Let's uh, get that up there. I missed a Richard Dragon. Actually, I don't think Riz will catch on here. Good. Okay, good. Um, ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Unless I pay two plus one for each fairy you control. Um, okay, so I cannot cast a whole hell of a lot here. Um, alright. I'll do Resolute, Re Resolute Reinforcements on their end step, then I'll actually keep that, I guess. Alright, uh, yeah, let's attack. I would say they just block both of the uh, little ones, of course. That ride is all rezzed out. <laughs> the opposite of Riz. With the nice geeky glasses smiling there. I like it. Okay, uh, that'll be all. all. right. Whatever we do gets countered, so there's no point. Consider... Alright, uh, we can go ahead and, I guess, do this now. Although, the point might be to do it on their end step, so... Yeah, maybe, maybe we should, uh, wait, actually. <laughs> can I challenge you? Yes! Let's go, Felix! Want to have my first match after the reset? Ah, oh, be a fun one at the very least. Hey, at least I goofed up this Boros deck a little bit. Yeah, man, let's, uh, go. I think you already have me at it. I don't remember, though, so... Disaster Mine number 34354. Four. Obviously, you might already have me at it, but there you go. Uh, resolve all. Another mentor. They have one mana open. We're trying to make them spend it. I don't know if they're just going to blow that counter for a resolute reinforcements. I don't have you added. Okay, let me... Uh... Uh. All 
All right, go ahead and add that in chat. All right, here we go. I would assume they actually let that resolve and don't counter it. Okay, well. I mean, one, two, three on Devilish Valet. Is that good? That puts out three things. Should we, uh, should we kill this and also draw a card? What do I do here? Do I do Devilish Valet and then smash really hard? Um, that might not be bad. Um... War Leader's Call isn't terrible either. Devilish Valet really isn't bad, though. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and attack. Right, with uh, this one. This one. Man, really wish we had the Gleeful Demolition to <laughs> do that in there as well. Yep. Takes a lot of damage potential away from him by taking off all those prowess creatures, so I think I'm okay with that. Um, let's go ahead and end the turn. Let me go mobile. Very well. How about eggs? Oh, Raging Bull. Yes, man. Welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream. Thank you for coming by. Oh, all right. Magic Jonsson. There you go. Maybe perhaps that's Felix there. Timing's about right. Okay. So basically, we have to uh, resolve War Leader's Call and declare an attack. Dude, tap out. Tap out. Play it. Tap out. He has one card in hand. Dude, tap out for your pit, for your whatever it's called. Let's hover over it. Come on. Mind control. Play it. Play it, pussy. Play it, pussy! I'll take it. I'll take it. No cards in hand, boys. Fucking no cards in hand. Oh, we're not proud of it. We're playing Boros, but you know what? It's a cute little victory. We make four gnomes. We're dead before de before blockers are even uh, bothered. Oh, all right. That was cute. All right. We'll hide him. <laughs> That that sounds like a Jim Gaffigan joke or some shit, man. How about how about eggs? <laughs> All right, well, I, that sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, okay. When I'm finished, okay, I'll send you the challenge, Felix. I I hear you. I hear you. It's a huge victory. Yeah, that's a pretty good deck, Felix. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, Tragic Magic Jonsson over here. Let's see, there you go. Uh, up, uh. Alright, 60 card. Best of one, if you want to rematch, whatever. More than welcome to it. Let's see, let's see. What, what are we going to play against Felix here? Let just see if I have a... You know what? I have another Boros deck. Let's, let's switch it up. He, he might be happy to see a Boros deck, but that isn't, you know... That goddamn Boros deck. It is Jim Gaffigan? Yeah! Oh, good taste, man. Oh, God. Yeah, Gaffigan's fucking great. Actually, my, uh, my actually big fat MTG voice is basically like Jim Gaffigan's persona that always like criticizes him for vulgarity or whatever. Doesn't like his jokes. Um, uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's I, I'll, I'll take it. So this Boros deck is a, um, equipment deck. 
Um, as you can see right here, this guy, um, it's a lot like our Ranger Captain of Eos today. When this guy enters the battlefield, look at top seven cards of library, may reveal equipment or vehicle, put into hand, right, blah, blah, blah. But it also gives something interesting. It gives our equipment, um, equip one. And we also have some cards in here that reduce equipment costs by one. And it, it doesn't say, like, you know, that it can't reduce the cost to less than zero. So, like, we can get some things to be free equips, you know. Um, resolve, I think it is. The five cost enchantment, right? Your creatures get plus one, plus zero in haste. And, like, at the end of the turn, right? Like, fucking, what does it do, you know? What exactly is it? Um, you know, fucking yada yada. I, I don't even remember. You guys fucking know. Oh yeah, all your creatures uh, leave the battlefield into exile, and they come back uh, at the beginning of you know your your upkeep or whatever. God, it's so good. So you can keep on doing ETBs. We have four Mirrodin equipments here. Their ETB is that they like make a two two creature and then attach themselves to it. Some of our equips get d give double strike. This one, as you can see, it makes a, a creature token too. It's just for the uh, in theme because it's an artifact uh, equipment. You know, um, in theme. Coverage on artifacts and enchants. Oh, mirror and bean splitter. Um, ooh, we might uh, we we might catch him here. Ah, right, good boy. Yep, yep. Not today. Good, good boy, Felix. He watches Big Fat MTG. My man, I, I like it. I fuck, I respect it. I like it, dude. <laughs> All right, you know, what? let's let's play Rabbit Battery too, just because it's gonna reduce Nahiri's cost even less. Or by even more, excuse me, right? So, yeah, I think that's okay here. Yep, he gets the attack. Good attack. Also fine to keep it as a blocker. Yeah, I like it. Um, okay, um... That get lost at poor, uh, poor, uh, Felix. That get lost is actually fucking perfect right now. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, let's, uh, attack with this and see if we can, uh, fuck him up. Actually, let's, uh, let's just attack with everything. I, I want to tempt him so bad here. I, I want, I want to tempt him. Come on. Block with Wally. He's not doing it. Oh, man, he's too, fuck. He didn't do it. Good job. Good job. Yeah, all right, fine. That's... Ah, oh, man. Alright, fine. He's smart. He didn't block with Watley. Good man. Um, let's pass. Because um, whenever an equipped creature you control attacks, so uh, at, by his end step, I'll cast this, and we'll lose the, you know, the combat trick element of surprise, and we'll just put it on, I guess, Lion Sash, just so that we have not only another equipment on the field, but another equipped creature. Because honestly, um, I haven't, um, I haven't actually gone through and changed it. But the next time I play this deck, I, I think I'm either gonna have one or zero of these Nahiri's. Because when we did play it, I wasn't thrilled with the amount of hits that Nahiri actually got through the stream. All right, he flipped his Watley. All right. Oh, ooh, but we got that now. Oh, shit. This guy's actually good, though. All right, yeah. Change of plans, dude. I'm playing I'm playing fucking Aster, man. Um, yeah, all right, yeah. I, I like that one. That's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and uh, no attack. Yeah, I want to wanna keep all my uh, creatures here. Because we can um, put Rabbit Battery on Nahiri, who very sadly lacks um, haste. And yeah, then she can go ahead and be another equipped creature to uh, yeah trigger her ability. Really nice. Um, we're definitely gonna want as much chances as we can to uh, exile equipment, cast them for free. Uh, this one right here is one of the best ones that you can uh, exile with Nihiri and cast for free because you can't cast them at flash speed. You know, it doesn't actually put them on the stack like a tally does. You know, so you can actually cast this one in the middle of combat, like on you know declare attackers phase. Or you can just wait for your opponent to block, fuck them up with that. Maybe they won't see it coming, right? And then do it on a do it on blocker's face. <clears throat> All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, he's killing Rabbit Battery. No. Oh, no, he killed it. All right, good, good, good. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good kill. Um, all right, you know what? We're probably going to have to just fuck up Watley for him. Um, shit, you know what? I should have fucked up Watley first. Did he tap this creature for... Oh, God damn it. He tapped that creature for the fucking mana. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, we're just going to have to sacrifice Citizen's Crowbar. Um, and destroy this. We're just going to have to do it. Has to be done here. Um, do this. We can exile permanence from his graveyard with Lion Sash. Uh, I guess I won't bother. I, we, we still can, but... Eh. All right, kind of uh, gave that one away a little, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. Still took out a nice dinosaur token there. Feeling okay. We gotta find something like Nahiri. Nahiri's resolve cracks cracks this fucking one wide open for us. Gets another Hotly flip though. Beautiful. So I'm I'm kind of happy with taking out that dinosaur though and keep the number of those things down. Got another beautiful Whatley here. He'll be very disappointed to find that I have another ugly Citizen's Crowbar for his beautiful Whatley um, saga. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's so good. Graveyard hating mana dorks. So good. Yep, good map token. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. We can sort of circumvent that by making our equipments um, reconfigure, making this like configured onto a creature because it loses creature typing. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's do this first, though. Uh, we have to give the creature haste, right? So that way it can uh, tap and sacrifice. Okay, I will now do Rabbit Battery again. Reconfigure onto who? Onto you. Because now you're a 3-3 three, three First Strike Trampler. That's pretty good. It's only First Striking and Trampling on our turn, though. Oh, fuck, I'm so stupid, right? He made it a 4. Oh, gosh. Ugh, my bad. I focused so hard on my shit, I just completely forgot that. My bad. God damn it. One of you, a couple of you are probably ripping your hair out there. My bad. I undid my rabbit battery there, too. Whatever. He's going to be so annoyed that I have the third one of these, so you know what? <laughs> that that dumbass move gives him a pick-me-up there, because this is going to be fucking annoying for him. <laughs> At least he has that. <laughs> yeah, good attack, good attack. Um... Yeah, we have to stop this. We can't let him cast Watley through his graveyard. Wow, okay, okay. This is actually, yeah, this is the thing that gives our equipment cost the um, reduction, right? So now in combination with this, we can move our equipments around a lot, which is super good. Um, Wait, have I fucked up? Have I royally fucked up? Have I royally fucked up here? Have I really fucked up? We can cast. Every, we can do all the equipping for free. Like that's not a uh, problem here. I think. Right uh, here. That should cost nothing. Right. It still costs nothing because of you. Right. Yeah. Um. Because of you and you in combination. Okay. 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 Um. Let's do this. Uh, equip for one. Right here. All right, let's uh, go ahead and attack. Yeah, I fucked up by uh, playing that thing. I think I should have uh, just done this because I need to. Uh... Yeah, I need to pay to sacrifice it. <laughs> God damn, <laughs> not pretty today. Not pretty. Whatever, I did this one right. <clears throat> we at least got a good strike in here. It's a double striker, so. Whatever, dude. Um, I'm not going to play this one, though, because he does have the board wipe right here. I 
think he might use it. I can't tell though. Maybe not. He did. He did that. Maybe he'll just play a Hwatley from his graveyard with the Conduit of Worlds. I've royally fucked up by not killing that and allowing him to possibly do that. That's really bad, actually. He definitely, I guess, wanted to get rid of Astro there, who was letting us do all that uh, free equipping moving around there. <clears throat> yeah, I really like that play. Um, sadly, once again, what we need is uh, Nahiri's Warcrafting. <laughs> or Nahiri's Resolve, whatever. The nice uh, five-cost enchantment. We, If we get that, that's really funny. Um... I think we will block that. I really don't want him to cast Swatley for me. I feel really shitty that I put this uh, on the field like an idiot. I just saw it and I got excited. Ugh, I'm such a, I'm such a, such a simpleton. Just saw a card that I like. Saw a pretty, saw a pretty picture, and I clicked it. Oh gosh! All right, you know what? That's fine because well, you see, uh, all of our equipments are still here. Rabbit battery didn't die because it lost its creature typing when it, uh, you know, configured. Uh, this is actually really good because when it enters, you can put an aura or equipment from hand or graveyard onto it. So a lot of the times, you can bring your rabbit battery back. Um, this time, we might bring this back. Although bringing this back could fuck over his. Um, let me hit thinking. Does this target... Hang on. Choose target non-land. Oh, yeah. We're going to ruin his life. Um, although, mm, I won't be able to pay for that. So I'm not going to ruin his life yet, unfortunately. Sadly. Sadly. Not ruining his life yet. Um, let's do this. Reconfigure here. I think I have to destroy that. He has so many of these, though. That, that's such that's such a big problem. Um, up, um, sorry. On yes, unattached. My bad. I clicked the wrong one. Ah, oh, thank you, old raging bull. Cool deck. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I'll block with this because um, Danitha can bring back rabbit battery. This looks really bad. That's a lot of damage. We're going to be at like two. Well, I guess we'll be at four, right? Because I'll block whichever. Uh, yeah, I'll block this one, obviously. Jesus. Wow. Good stuff. All right. Oh, wow. Aster. I mean, that's cool, but like... We have a chance here? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, we're, we're going to take exactly four poison from him. Unfortunately. Um, I will take Rabbit Battery back. It attaches to Danitha. We attack with her because she does have uh, all those keywords. But uh, yeah, he just uh, attacks around us here for um, four poison. So, Jesus. The game, dude. Very nice. Another Hwatley. Yeah, Felix likes Hwatley, man. He's always excited when I uh, mention that I'm going to play that shit. Whew, man. His Watleys took a beating there with our uh, Citizens Crowbars, but... Damn, here she is on the field, prevailing as he, uh, as he wins here. We'll make our blocks, and we'll uh, give him his exactly lethal poison victory. Yeah, Sag, unfortunately, Tana, but, oh, man. Good game, good game. Woo! We, we didn't find the value we needed. The, the Warcrafting would have been awesome, but it was a pretty cool game for freaking Felix there. It, frustrating parts, too. Once again, we, we blasted his first two Hwatley uh, sagas there. Man, but the White Suns did it. Oh, good game, Felix. Good game. White Suns, Twilight for the win. Indeed, old Raging Bull, and I echo that, Tana. Good Nice deck, Felix. Yep. Uh, no. But we're not going to have any creatures to use this with. 
That's so goofy. Fine, dude. Fine. Just, you know what? Be, be goofy like that, dude. Fine. Whatever. You kill idea. Yeah, I killed all the Watleys. <laughs> I got so I got so uh, fortunate there, and got those citizens crowbars handed to me. What I get three of them. I, I'm running four of them, but goddamn. Um. All right. Well. G. Absolutely. G. G's. Richard. Yes. Yeah. Woo. Those repeated Watley sagas, they're so good. And in the, in the end, it was the board wipe that did it. Exactly lethal, too. Exactly lethal poison. Yeah, beautiful thing, even with blockers, too. It was pretty cool. Okay, well, while we're waiting, we'll bring up the nice Dahlia cosmetic style. Ah, here we are. Okay, welcome back. Anim Pakal, oh my god, what? Wait, hang on a second. You have that too? Oh, goodness gracious. No, um... Yep, that'll uh that'll be the end. I thought you ha ah, we got you with the switch, Felix. <laughs> I thought you were gonna play the faster Boros and I panicked and Mulligan ended up with two Watleys on the first hand. Oh that, yeah, that's a pretty decent blocker against Boros a lot of the time. I'd say that's a decent Mulligan. Got him. Got him in. Yeah, I thought I would switch it up to that one because I mean, is something something about having a conscious conscience makes it a uh, you know difficult to play this uh, particular deck against you guys. I guess maybe just because like I see it all. I don't really like facing it. But once again, it's Easter, and this is this has a bunny in it. I forgot that Mythic resets today and not tomorrow like I thought it would. I wanted a deck that's good with a bunny in it for Easter. <laughs> Here we are. Um, I don't really like it, but like, fine. Ooh, the nice, uh, yeah, nice, okay. Oh, that is nice. That is quite nice. Prof's eidetic memory. Okay, well, I mean, at least we're going to resolve our next two things, right? Okay, so we've resolved Pakal onto the field. We're making a board presence now. Okay, okay. Took you to Mythic? Shit, okay, fucking Felix. Grats. Grats, grats. Has something for everybody. Yep, yeah, board wipes for aggro. Yep. Hunters for control. Big fat boys for everybody. Let's go. Freaking helicopters flying, says Richard. Flying low next to the Mesa. Out of the training, really? And damaging a UNESCO site. Gosh darn it. Let's uh let's have ourselves a nice little attack here. How about that? I, I like it, right, right, right? No no artifacts to speak of. Oh yes, artifact to speak of. What's this? Um oh okay, okay, okay. Uh let's start by attacking. Okay, yeah, I forgot. This is an artifact. Duh, 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 duh. Oh yeah, we're definitely blasting that with uh demolition. Oh, that's so bad for them.
You can tell they are military. They are the ones trying to hide like that. I would think you could just tell by looking at their things. They got all the cool toys, man. Depending on how you look at it. As asterisk. You know, I kind of really like running four war leaders calling this. I, I feel like something's off with my version of this deck. But like, I, I had to jam the cards that I like into this. Maybe I don't have enough one drops. I don't fucking know. Maybe I shouldn't even have bunny corns at all. Once again, I don't, I don't fucking know. But like, I don't know. <laughs> well, I like four war leaders calling here. That's a cool card, man. I'm happy that I've had two of them on the field a couple of times today. Oh, that's actually such a good drop, though. Dude, that's actually so good, though, right? Do I do this one right now, or do I wait for after that? Ah, eh, get rid of it. Yeah, I, I won't play it. We'll, we'll wait for after call. I can't tell if that's right, because I could have attacked with that, right, last turn. Um, all right, let's let's uh, let's start with this. It looks like it gets countered, but I'm still going to try it. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do this. One, two, three. Uh, yeah. All right, start with this. I think they'll let that happen. All right, let's uh, do this now. Uh, no. They blend in with the foliage on the mesa over a blue sky. Much easier to see very well. Uh, okay. Uh, do we do this one? I guess I guess I should resolve it now. Well, I feel like that just sends it into a board wipe, but I think I should resolve it there. If they hit the board wipe, I'll just leave. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, hang on, hang on. I, I can't tap Pakal here or she dies to the Wandering Emperor. Um, but then I have to do this now on this, even though I want to tap it into this. Yeah, we have to do this now. Because if I want to tap this and attack with this, right, then I have to tap Anna and Pakal. They have the Wandering Emperor open. Uh, I'm not attacking with Pakal. Damn. Alright. No thanks. Alright. I'll attack with this one. Well, I guess we'll attack with both. Alright, that'll be all. I think that this could probably use an Archangel Elspeth. I would actually probably like playing with that. Ooh, that's a pretty good card. Uh, let's attack, though. Wow, okay. Uh, Alright. Judging by the fact that the Mesa is a thousand feet above me, they are flying around six hundred feet. That's really low, especially if they have I don't know, they have some big airplanes. Or did you mentioned helicopters, actually. You mentioned helicopters. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Yeah, honestly, six hundred feet for helicopters. Sometimes they have low flying drills with that with those things like 
They'll they'll really come with what within what feels like a hundred feet of the ground. All right, well, let's uh, keep attacking. I'll do this just so that our creatures get plus, right? Uh, that'll be, uh, I think that's all. Or we can drop the bunny corn now to threaten lethal a little more. Because he hasn't wiped yet, so I'm hoping that he doesn't draw it here. Hoping that it isn't maybe our Sunfall in hand and he needs the land to hit it, right? Okay, hey, boys! If we haven't gotten a like on the stream, I, I hope that that guy can inspire it. Let's have a brief post-mortem, you know, and a nice stroll down memory lane. This is all this guy did today. This is what he did today. And, and Oh, sorry, and then he also conceded. My bad. I don't expect him to say good game to the Boros Convoke over here. Uh, I just think that it's a nice, a cute little spot to ask for a like on my little stream. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks, Big Fat 2, for the chance and the entertainment. Hell yeah, my man, Felix. Thank you for saying that. You might not realize how impactful you doing this is for us to... Thank you, man. I very much <clears throat> appreciate the kind words. Now, Richard Dragon says, a UNESCO site? It's against international law. Oh, man. Well, maybe you should go get him, Richard. You and what army? Ha 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 ha! Go get him! Now to get the citizens arrest on them, man. They're breaking the law. We gotta bring those people to justice. Oh, he opened with C Note Scout. A classic. I think the Convoke creature is really good here. Yeah, the Convoke creature here is God tier. Uh, we don't get it, but that's pretty good because now I can do like two things, I guess. I can do Novice Inspector and an Epicure or Novice Inspector and this. Wow, okay. Wow, all right. No attacks. Post-mortem view. Smoking on that lightning helix. <laughs> Pack tonight, says Felix. That, that sounds kind of like a, fu a fun name. Lightning helix. Oh, wow. That it, is that a good card, you guys? Um, although they have this, right? Artifacts and creatures entering the battlefield. I mean, this will still give us the Anthem effect, but then I guess they have the Haywire Might, so there's no point in playing this. Yeah, now that I think about it, that's the only play. Um, do we attack with, like, everything? It gets us some damage in, but I don't even know about that. I'll just do that. And they easy free block, you yeah. Yeah, we, we have to get that case on the doorkeeper thrall, I think. Oh no, it's not you not even with the Volder and Thrill Seeker. Ugh, you are uh we get the surveil with this, right? Because this only turns off artifacts and creatures. Uh I mean that could be okay, but nah. Um do we do? I think we do this just to have it down. Although they do, they just use haze, haywire might. So actually, that's stupid. What's the point? Whatever. I, I might as well fucking do it. Um, let's attack with no. Let's attack with that one. Yeah, just that. And we're we're not gonna get the uh, ETB damage anyway because they have the thrill. Whatever, we're we're making Ann and Pakal bigger.
And my cannon can reach six. My cannon. Me and my cannon. Me and my cannon. Okay. Can <laughs> reach 600 feet. Easy. Easy. Easy peasy. But I'm more pissed at my propane provider right now. In Tibet, the villagers would throw rocks on top of helicopters from the mountains. Good God. What am I reading? Um, let's block here. It's always an interesting experience looking down on looking down on aircraft from the top of uh, buildings. Uh, I think that's probably about it, right, boys? Yeah, I don't see us doing anything there. Yeah, that thrall just shut off everything. Holy crap. Right there, ready to shut off everything. Great. Wow, great shut off on Boros there, huh? I mean, uh, and the Haywire might, too. Not going to lie. I mean, that guy was absolutely ready for exactly me. And well, and I guess in exactly every other fucking chud playing exactly this like me today, too. Sure. Sure. How exactly do I do this? Ooh, I, uh, we might get rid of that. You asked what I could do. There are, uh, ooh, that's behind, uh, there are options, is all I'm saying, says Richard. Okay, let's do, I got this, boys, I got this, I got this, I got this. Uh, do this one. Uh, you know, it, it is a backup. We might want the backup. People are finally using the troll. Which troll tin? I, I'm not sure. I'm, I, I'm curious. Uh, let's, let's do this. They probably just saved that thing, but let's do it. Because then we get the attack in if they phase it out, you know. They have the blue open, so that's probably what happens. Oh, ooh, brutal. Oh, wow, brutal. That's it. Um, well, I guess we attack, right? I'll attack. I'm not going to block that thing with that. Wow, war leader's call. Um, ah, dude, you had the counter. Whatever. Maybe that guy countered that and Pakal doesn't. Jesus, dude. Yes. I'm going to assume that he has the answer for that, too. Hey, I'm, I'm not playing you, dude. All right. Okay. Yeah, interaction. Okay. Ah, the Thrall. Okay. Okay, Tana. Yeah, great card. It would just be easier to rat the Air Force out to Russia and China. Oh, man. I think I think they'd like they think maybe maybe some some people who dress up in suits for work and get referred to as spooks like to know your location. The one two flash. Ugh. Yep, that's a good card. <laughs> Man, that destroyed this. Uh, that destroyed this deck. I don't know if I like this hand. If we had something that made an artifact like these boys, then yep, that would have been great. I think I want to keep the War Leader's Call here. Do I? It might be too much. Ooh, OK. 
Okay, that's pretty good. Um, Alright, why don't we uh, pass the turn or do we... Nah, let's get this started. Okay. Uh, I, I have one, honestly. Let's find something like a war leader's call in and a Pakal. Uh, I think we'll start with this. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, get an attack in, too. I think another, um, Resolute Reinforcement sends the game for us here. Uh, can we win two, four, and then eight? Uh, that's not enough, right? Nine, ten, eleven... That's not enough. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay, let's uh, now do this, right? One, two, three. Uh, no. It's pretty fucking useless. Uh, I think we actually have to uh, play this one now, unfortunately. It really sucks that we got nowhere near there. I actually have to keep this untapped, right, for the uh, Ginger Brute. Wow. That... Man, bury me in the lands. Alright, well. If he does anything to either of our blockers, we immediately lose. Yep, wonderful. Yep, that was uh, that was that looked effortless. Jesus Christ, dude! Fading Cope, yuppie. I, I figured the odds are that he would have it. It looked like he had everything <laughs> that game. Reminder, I'm a liberal in my county. Says her, damn liberals. <laughs> How about you have a Bud Light, you liberal? That man a Bud Light. All right, yeah, let's do this. Honestly, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And I'm, I i will not do the blood token now. I'll sit here and debate. Should I get rid of? I should probably get rid of a regal bunny corn. Hey, you know what? Fine. Uh, let, let's not do that right now. We, we might need to draw with this, honestly. I like this one on the field, though, right? Because it actually uh, kills uh, the blocker. <laughs> okay, dude. Can, can I get what I need? Let's 
seriously, dude. <laughs> But Jesus, man, I'm gay. Not a putty tat. Why drink pee water? I ain't into that, says Richard. Um, are we just doing... This is pathetic. This is fucking pathetic, dude. I, he has two lands, too, so it's, it's kind of double-sided pathetic. Right, yep, resolve all. Tooth. That third land unlocks this whole hand, so let's never find it. Thank you. God damn it, you're on two lands. You, you seem to be doing okay, dude. I don't think we block those. Bro. You, you. That's 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 okay, but okay, man. I mean, I think it's too late, but you know. We have to keep back a couple of blockers, honestly. Alright, he is going to gain a lot of life, so that's really fucking awesome that this game has sat me here begging. Begging for a third land. I wish I didn't have it. He gains a lot of life there. He's at 22. Oh, I'm at 10? Ah, oh, I didn't... Uh, fucking right. I didn't even keep track of that. My bad. All right. Well, you know what? That that makes it even harder to win then, because we have to lose another creature. He's still at 22. Yeah, it's over. Uh, account of the two land gaming there. That That is a nuclear disaster. That That's so horrifying. God, what an awful, what a just truly god awful game. Fine. Looks like we could get a really good opener here. I don't think I've gotten a really good opener all game, like, right? With, like, the one drop and the artifact into, like, this guy, and then, uh, right? So we can do this. Yeah, this is actually fucking time check. This is the first fucking god open that I've had. 849, bro motherfuck you. Uh, yeah, sure. How exactly are we doing this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things on the field. Um, so one, two for this. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We convoke this for... Do I convoke it for five or for like three? We'll convoke it for five so we can get another one in our hand. Bro, I got the god open. Oh, and he left. I mean, I get it. It makes sense. But, like, dude. 
In my whole three hour stream, I didn't do that once. I have four of each card required. Alright, so this. Up, oh, up, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, this. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yup, that's good. Uh, yes, yeah, alright, too. Alright, uh, let's, uh. Yeah, let's finish up. Although, I guess, fuck, my, we don't have the land, stupid, whatever. Yeah, the, the war leader's call is fine. If, if he goes very good next turn and gets Adam Pakal, then we're dead, you know? Um, I, I think we could start by getting a huge attack in here, maybe. If I win this game, I'm done playing this deck. Tell me I'm not going to win this game. Tell me you're going to go ape shit god mode here. Alright, well, uh, I think we could probably uh, attack in uh, with a lot of stuff, right? And just counting it up, do we actually win there? Well, let me, let me just see really fast. What does he have? He has five blockers, so uh, this this attacks in. Let's see, he blocks one, two, three, four, five. We deal six damage so far out of nine, so we have to do a little more. All right, fortunately, two lands was enough for that one. I'm done playing this deck. I hope you enjoyed it. It was cute for a change of pace, but it is not something that I want to do nearly every day. But, it, it, you know, was cute uh, trying it out once. So take care of yourselves, everybody. Take care of each other. If you haven't already left a like on my stream, please do that. This one's probably going to need it. You know, my normal audience isn't going to watch it, and there's so much Boros Convoke out there. It's probably not going to attract any new eyeballs. So thank you for that. Once again, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. 6 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Oh, out Boros the Boros.